when I teach medical students and residents and fellows, uh, I tell them really the mantra is the more you use it, the faster you lose it. There is not much in the pipeline, um, much expected in terms of a very new drug with new mechanism of action. Even if there were, resistance will develop to those also eventually. So antibiotic stewardship is not something we have to do just to protect current antibiotics, but also to protect what will come, if any, in the future. Antibiotic stewardship promotes the appropriate use of antibiotics to help reduce the spread of resistant bacteria. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to use the old drugs better. And it isn't that the old drugs have now failed. They still do what they're supposed to do. It's that the organisms have become more resistant. Sort of the ultimate manifestation of this is in some institutions, they'll actually go to the length of rotating the antibiotics that they use. So they'll use this combination, combination A of antibiotics for six months, and then they'll change to combination B. And then after six months, they'll change to combination C. After six months, they'll change to combination D. At the end of that two-year cycle, they come back to combination A. You know what? Everything is susceptible to combination A. So the crop rotation approach to antibiotic utilization has been proposed, and it's actually worked. One of the problems is it's called the power of the prescription, if you think about it. Once I write that prescription for an antibiotic, what you sense is, ah, there's a diagnosis. Now there's a solution. So we have to stop using the power of the prescription inappropriately. One EVMS physician is beginning to develop a regional survey which tracks antibiotic-resistant patterns to more accurately prescribe the proper antibiotics. What we did here, myself and two of our medical students, is to uh, retrospectively look at two years' worth of data uh, to find out what type of resistant bacteria we have in this community. We looked at 12 hospitals in the area, then we put that data into regions, sub-regions, and then uh, compared that with the national database. Uh, our goal is to share the data with providers in the area so they realize that antibiotic resistance is not something they hear on the news or they uh, read about in the journals. So we have to educate the providers to understand where they're beneficial where they're not. They're very clearly beneficial for many things. The other side of that coin is to educate patients so they don't pressure the provider to give them antibiotics when it's not needed. Antibiotics are good, don't get me wrong, and they have a definite place, but there are a lot of times they're used when it would be better not to have them.